Well, meanwhile, uh, Ukraine continues its counter-offensive against Russian positions. Fighting appears to be concentrated in the region of Zaporizhia, as well as further north around the town of Bakhmut, with some Ukrainian officials claiming steady gains. At the same time, Ukraine says renewed Russian airstrikes have hit civilian targets in several Ukrainian cities. Officials say there was a drone attack on the Black Sea hub of Odessa on Thursday morning. And Russian missiles targeted the heart of Kherson, damaging an office building there, while the mayor of the central city of Kliveri reports a drone attack hit two industrial buildings. Ukraine's upgraded air defence systems are proving essential as Russia has stepped up its aerial bombardment of critical infrastructure and civilian targets. But air defence is extremely expensive and the supply of ammunition is not endless. Even before the sirens sound, they're already on the move. Air defence crews come out of hiding and get ready to take aim at incoming drones or missiles. It's a procedure they repeat every single day. Earlier in the war, Russian pilots had free reign of the skies over Ukraine and missiles rained down on civilian targets, like on this shopping centre. Only complete psychoterrorists, who should have no place on this earth, can launch missiles at such a target. But Ukraine has since constructed a formidable air defence system, comprised of Soviet-era systems and now Western-made weapons too, including patriots from the United States. Nasams from Norway. And from Germany, Gepards, also known as cheetahs. It's believed this defensive shield can shoot down up to 90% of incoming drones and missiles. Everything you shoot down saves lives and infrastructure. Thank you. We managed to shoot down some of the missiles, but unfortunately, not all. One missile strike that wasn't thwarted this week destroyed an apartment block in Zelensky's hometown of Kriviri. Other buildings nearby were also damaged. At least a dozen people were killed. It's a stark reminder of what could happen if Ukraine drops its guard. The West fears that could happen soon, as relentless Russian attacks drain Ukraine's stocks of ammunition faster than they can be replenished. I stress that every day of delay in our deliveries has to be measured on human lives. It's not a matter of money, it's a matter of people. These people in Kiev head for the nearest shelter. If Ukraine loses this aerial war of attrition, its cities would be left open to missile and drone attack. Russian fighters and bombers could return to the skies, and that would pose a major threat to Ukraine's counteroffensive. Before, all the talk had been of main battle tanks. Now it's about how to protect them on the battlefield. And all eyes are on the skies over Ukraine. Now, one of the pieces of military hardware that Ukraine has received from Western allies is the Gepard, or the Cheetah Air Defence System. They are designed to destroy low-flying targets and are much cheaper to operate than other air defence systems like the US-made Patriot. Our correspondent, Sonia Falnica, took a closer look at some Gepards in action and in the battlefield. A scene that's been playing out for over a year now across Ukraine, as Russia relentlessly bombs the country. But units like these are standing in the way. Ukrainian air defense capabilities can now take down cruise missiles and Iranian-made drones, thanks to anti-aircraft system like the German-made Gepard. These units can literally be the difference between life and death. This Gepard unit trained in Germany for a month and a half. I call this the dragon because it's huge and loud. 
and can destroy everything in its path, both on the ground and in the air. The Gepard has a computer system that crunches data received from the radar, which can detect targets up to 15 kilometers away. Then it's a matter of seconds. We have to take aim at the targets within two seconds. This system is very effective and fast and moves well despite weighing 48 tons. It's good for moving around on all kinds of terrain. The self-propelled cannon is armed with twin 35 millimeter guns, which can fire up to 550 rounds per minute. At the end of the cannon, there's a special sensor, and that's responsible for determining the speed and timing of firing the ammunition. It's very accurate. It'll destroy any target in the radius of this system. Depending on the ammunition they're using, Gepard cannons can hit targets some five kilometers away. The Gepards play a key role in Ukraine's air defense network shooting down waves of low-flying drones and rockets. Roman's unit has already taken out four Shahid drones and two missiles. What they want is more Gepards from Germany, as well as more ammunition, to better protect the skies over Ukraine.